A royal analyst has harshly criticized the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's visit to Nigeria, claiming that they intend to take over from the king in an attack on the couple. After receiving an invitation from Christopher Musa, the senior military official of Nigeria, the couple spent three days in the country. The Sussexes pushed the Invictus Games, which Nigeria participated in for the first time last year, and spearheaded their Archwell Foundation's youth mental health programs. Royal expert Angela Levin discussed the visit to Nana Akua on GB News, calling it a very dangerous action and stating that the couple wants to take over from the king. She explained that the Duke of Sussex had stressed the need of face-to-face -face meetings with advocates for their concerns in order to gain their support, ideas, and solutions. The fact that it isn't his job makes it very problematic. He has no official position within the royal family. He's leaving his job and will start fixing things, addressing things, and making things right. Because things are tough for the king and his family right now, I view it as an indication that they wish to move elsewhere and seize control. Because of the cancer problem, they are unable to travel overseas. And now they're attempting to strip it from us. The speaker continued, saying, I think it's very, very dangerous. According to Nana Akua, the Nigerians didn't buy into it, though. Nana further noted that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex stood for the national anthem of the United Kingdom, God Save the King, while they were in the country. The Duke of Sussex was stood there absolutely frozen, Levin said, describing the moment the two got on stage to perform the song. He despised it. They didn't move their mouths one tiny bit to sing along. The Nigerians' decision to include that is genius, Nana remarked absolutely brilliant. Well, they didn't want to make the king feel out of it, Levin explained. For them, it was about showing respect. It appears that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's trip to Nigeria was just one of many planned excursions, as they have dropped hints that similar trips are in the works. Meeting face-to-face -face with individuals, rallying behind our causes and actively listening to their perspectives is of the utmost importance for us to achieve solutions, support and good change. The Duke of Sussex stated to people, there's a limit to what can be accomplished using remote work in Zoom, so we're excited to travel more for important business. There will always be opportunities to meet the individuals at the core of our work, whether it's the Archwell Foundation, Invictus, or any of our other causes. What are your thoughts on this? Let me see them in the comments. Thanks and have a nice day.